This video is sponsored by Dashlane. In today's video, we're gonna try making rope out of three materials that you guys have requested. You look great. Thanks. Did we actually use your hair for this? I mean, it is my hair. Is it from your head? No, I bought it. Guys, we are not using my hair for this video today. But we are gonna be using some real human hair along with some real plastic wrap and some real dental floss. Uh, none true. of those were harvested from Cali either. So these are real human hair. We've got more than this and we are gonna try making a rope out of it. We've had so many questions asking for rope made out of human hair. We've had a ton of people ask if we can make rope out of dental floss. We've had so many people ask if we can make rope out of plastic wrap. So today we're gonna be trying all three of those. We've also had a few other stranger requests. We'll see if we get around to trying to make a rope out of water. I have some doubts about how well that one will work out. But the other three should work just fine. We're gonna use hair, we're gonna use floss, we're gonna use saran wrap, we're gonna make ropes out of all of them, see how strong they are, and just how much rope we can make out of them. Here's the basic idea. We have saran wrap, we have dental floss, and we have human hair. We want to see if we can make ropes out of each of these. So while we hope to make some strong rope with these materials, something we know is strong is security with Dashlane. Dashlane is the one-stop shop for all of your digital security. You don't need to worry about downloading three or four apps, saving your passwords, encrypting your data, or even having a VPN. Dashlane is gonna do all of that for you and it's cheaper. Dashlane is also available on every device so you don't need to worry about remembering your passwords. And it can help you generate super strong passwords so you don't have to worry about whether all of your accounts are secure. In addition, Dashlane will search the dark web for you and see if any of your accounts have been compromised and urge you to change them if they have been. Dashlane has an awesome basic free version, but the premium subscription has all of these features and more. Dashlane has come back to us because you guys have responded well in the past. If each of you can go into the description and click the link, it will help support us to continue making awesome videos. So hit the link in the description or go to dashlane.com slash random to get 10% off your premium subscription. So now that you know how to make your account strong, let's go see how strong our hair rope will be. Let's, let's, uh, let's get started on this. What do you want to start with, hair, floss, or plastic wrap? You know, hair is going to be the most time intensive. It's also, I think, going to be probably the most interesting. I say let's start with the easiest, work up to the hardest. I think saran wrap is going to be the easiest to begin with. All right, so here's the thought. We'll get six lengths of it, one there and back for each of our hooks. Okay. Gather them all up, put them on that swivel hook, start spinning it together. That will give us like our first layer of rope. We may then want to like make three of those and bind them together to get like a really strong rope. <laughs> well, it's not the most even rope we've ever made. <sighs> that seem pretty strong though. It's gonna be, that's gonna be tough. Yeah, that's awesome. Also, I'm gonna have to teach you guys how to card hair today, which sounds very weird. I have done wool carding, which is where you card the wool, you make sure that it's all straight and flat so that you can turn it into yarn or thread. We're gonna attempt that with human hair today. That's gonna take a lot of time. So let's start with the dental floss, see how long that takes. Let's make a thinner rope out of hair first, then let's revisit and let's see if we uh, should make a thicker version of our saran wrap rope because we've still got 800 feet of it. Yes, don't ever, ever, ever hold a rope like this. Don't ever wrap a rope like this around your hand and then try and support your weight. You'll break every bone in your hand. Oh, it's waxy. It's hard to hold on to. <laughs> but it seems very strong. I'm very, I, I am satisfied with what we've done here. Very fresh and minty still. So I think the idea is, so all this hair is attached and that's because this is used in wig making. You can cut these pieces off, sew them on, that's how you make the wigs. However, we are not making a wig out of it. We are making rope out of it. So we want to try and sever it from this whole attachment piece. And I think we're gonna try scissors. If that doesn't work, we might try razor blade. Scissors did work fine when I was initially testing this. So 
What you need to do when you are working with wool and hair, I guess, to try and make thread or yarn or anything like that, is you actually need to card it because keeping it straight like this, if you were to try and wind it up, it's just gonna slip apart. So you need to sort of knot it up a little bit, but cleanly, if that makes sense. Now, normally the way you do this is with uh, carding boards. So while carding boards can be a little bit harder to get your hands on, a really nice, easy substitute, pet hair brushes. So what we're gonna do is we're going to card the hair, we're gonna sort of knot it up, but keep it more or less orderly, and then we're gonna show you how to wind that up so we've got something to twist together. Luke wants to know how strong rope from human hair is, so I want to find out. For making fibers and ropes and sweaters out of wool, this is a very important process. It helps clean it out and get rid of all the, the non-nice clean wool fibers that might be in there. I've seen people who took wool from the sheep, just basically straight from the sheep, they wash it and clean it and prep it, and then yeah, you cart it a lot like this. And after that, you twist it into fibers. There's a few ways to do that. There's a couple types of spindles. I've watched people use an actual spinning wheel to do it. It's pretty neat. Uh, we are not gonna be using a spinning wheel. We're just gonna mostly do things with our hands and fingers, twisting things together, making our fibers like that. All right, so the actual human hair was so soft that we couldn't actually cart it enough, even with hairspray, to actually make it stick and, and form a nest. Now, people do this. This is kind of, well, this isn't exactly how, but dreadlocks are made. It is possible to make a sort of rope with human hair. However, not the brand that we bought. Shocker. So anyways, I've sacrificed the rest of my cosplay hair extensions, and we are going to try and make a faux human hair rope. All right, so the human hair, way too soft. We are not able to get that to work. So this is a synthetic hair, basically plastic. Now, as you can see, we've tied it into strings, and they're not even that well secured. Right now, and we had this problem as we were putting it together. Nate tied this one. Um, if we were to just pull this, it's not going to be strong enough. The winding everything together is what makes thread and yarn strong. So, <laughs> Josh has been kind enough to uh, help us because our counterweight is too heavy. We're slowly going to let this wind up, and as it winds up, it's going to get stronger and stronger. We hope. It's going to get stronger and stronger. Just a little bit. Definitely getting some good cord forming on parts of it now. Our, this one was the loosest one. It was, was kind of our weakest link. Also, it's really hard to just tie hair. Thankfully, synthetic hair is much easier to tie. Moment of truth. Let's see if this actually, ah, it stayed together. Um, it's tough. Let's, let's not pull too much more than no, that. No, it, it is tough. But again, synthetic hair is plastic, so I don't trust this nearly as much as I actually would have if this was real hair, so. I think it would be possible to do with real hair, but we yes. would need just a lot of really long, high quality, like good condition hair. And I really do think the length would and be key. And a coarser hair. This hair, this company that I got it from, fantastic. It is soft and it does not tangle. It's beautiful, but it's not what we wanted. We've got our three types of rope, one of which is uh, pretending to be hair again. We've got knots tied in both sides. We're gonna put one knot on the hook, one knot on the trailer hitch. And in order to start pulling apart, we're going to try and film and observe our scale to see how many pounds of pulling each of these ropes can take. You guys have seen us do this in the past, but I'm not sure you've seen us do it with quite such weird material before. Soda bottle rope is pretty strange. That's a little strange. Which should we start with? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I think the hair rope is going to be the weakest, but I'm also thinking it's the most interesting. I say we save this for last. Fifty. Sixty. 80. 80? 
90. Woo! It's very stretched. Just keep going. <laughs> Broken. What did it break at? Like 103. Holy cow, that almost could have held my weight. So we got to 103 pounds and it was kind of funny because it started going up the way it would with any normal rope, but then as it started stretching, the numbers just slowed down. So it like kind of shot up to 60 and then it was just like 65, 70, <laughs> It was thinking 80. about it. It did actually get up over 100, but <laughs> look, how, look how far it got. It, it started I, right here. I want to I wanna take a look we at this. Stretch this rope out like six times its original length. Look at this mess though. It was absolutely just just as before with with any other rope. One, it's always one that breaks, and you can see the one that broke. That's quite the mess. Let's try the next one. Yep. Floss. Got it all set up. Knots on both ends. Let's see how much strength this can take. Go, 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 go. Please don't hurt yourself. Oh, <laughs> that went quick. <laughs> I think I saw it hit about 145. The numbers were just still Wait, rolling. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh. No, it got high. Oh. But it has the other very, stretched, very little it? stretch to it, so it hit that number fast. This is That's like why. half the distance that we got with the other rope. All right, but you win. I'm pretty sure I saw the number hit about 145. This scale doesn't turn numbers over super fast. Okay. But it did break fairly quickly. 145. This could have held my weight. The floss does, Easy. does Easy. not stretch very much. All right, so it's not really enough for me to hang from. Also, I don't have a good enough grip, so I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna see if I can step on it and hold all my weight. Mind you, last week I fell from the ceiling, so that's a little stretchy. All right. Oh my goodness! That's all my weight! Hands are just stabilizing. Stabilizing. So I would say the scale probably hit at least 145 and was trying to catch up when it snapped. Okay, here we've got the remnants of the saran wrap, which has had a bit of a day already, but we're gonna just see if I can lift myself up from this at all. It's very stretchy, so Callie's gonna swing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh boy, that is really hard to grip onto. Nice! Ugh. Also, you've gotta remember that that is a much thicker stress point Whereas the, uh, the hitch for the car, or Mark's truck, is different, and the, uh, the crane hook, that's a much, much smaller stress point, which I think might change things. All right, guys. Well, we couldn't find any sea turtles to test the hair, so we're going to try this again. How much weight do you think this is going to hold? 26 pounds. That's a lot of faith. I think 15. <laughs> Oh, gone. <laughs> sure enough. Uh, I think I saw it at about 35. Woo! So you price is right, didn't I you? I did. I did. I won. 35. 35 pounds. More or less. And yeah, it looks there. like it just sort of split right open at one of the knots. One of the many knots. Sure did. Here you go. I got this for you. Oh. You better keep it forever. Thanks again to our sponsor, Dashlane. Hit the link in the description or go to dashlane.com slash random to get 10% off of a premium subscription. Guys, the fun doesn't end here. Go ahead and click right there to see our last video and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.